Hi, Charlie here. When it comes to pets, most people have something fairly common like a cat or dog. These do make great pets, but what if you want something slightly more cute and rare? Well, you may be surprised to learn that you can even own some of the animals in this video. Some don't even look real, but they make for great pets. Sugar Glider Flying squirrels are incredibly cute, but they are wild animals that you can't own as a pet. Sugar gliders, on the other hand, make for a great pet. Sugar gliders are insanely cute. They look similar to a hamster, but they can fly, or at least glide into your hand. They are known for their gigantic and shiny eyes. Sugar gliders are part of the marsupial family, just like kangaroos, koalas, and Tasmanian devils. They mainly drink milk and eat rice. The female's glider also acts as a pouch for its young. It would be pretty amazing having one of these exotic animals gliding around your home. Sugar gliders are native to Australia, but are now in many countries. The average price of a sugar glider is $400. Finger Monkey Monkeys are incredibly cute, but they're mainly found in the wild or in zoos. After all, if not trained well, they can be very aggressive and dangerous to humans. Finger monkeys, on the other hand, make for great pets. These cute animals are called pygmy marmosets, but they are more commonly referred to as finger monkeys. They are only 6 inches, which means they can sit on your finger, hence the name. Finger monkeys are very social creatures, which is why many people get more than one as a pet. Otherwise, they can get lonely and unhappy. These finger monkeys may be small, but they can leap 15 feet into the air. Finger monkeys are the smallest type of monkey in the world, but they are not the smallest primates. That record goes to the Philippine Tarsier. Finger monkeys are rather rare and exotic, and that's why their price range is $1,500 to $4,000. Fennec Fox Foxes are wild animals, which are normally found trying to eat stuff out of your trash can. Fennec foxes, on the other hand, are incredibly small, cute, and can be owned as a pet. They are famous for their magnificent large ears. These foxes are native to Africa, but are housed as pets in many countries around the world. A fully grown fennec fox only weighs 4 pounds. Some say the fennec fox is a cuter alternative to any cat or dog. And many say their behavior is like a hybrid of a cat and a dog. They have the independence of a cat, but the loyalty and playfulness of a dog. Fennec foxes typically sell for about $2,500. They are legal to own in almost any country and live for 15 years or more. Fennec foxes also do not have a musk gland. This means that unlike regular foxes, they don't smell bad at all. Just make sure these playful animals have enough room to run around. Pygmy Jaboa These mini rodents are native to Africa, but are kept as pets all over the world. Many say they're like a hybrid between a gerbil and a kangaroo. They look like tiny balls of fur with eyes. These pets can be complicated to care for. They are most popular in countries such as Japan and South Korea. Because these cute animals are very exotic and have to be imported, they can normally cost over $1,000. Honduran White Bat Bats are normally seen as scary animals, but these very cute tiny bats from Honduras can be kept as pets. Unlike any other bat, Honduran White Bats have white fur. They also have a yellow nose and ears. These can be owned as pets, but most people find it too complex to care for them. They don't need lots of space, but their environment does have to be the same as it is in the wild. They also eat a very rare fig found in rainforests. These are quite hard to collect, meaning that it would be very expensive to feed these. But if you have the means and really love these animals, then maybe it's worth it. After all, they are super cute. Baby Tiger We've all seen celebrities who have pet tigers. For example, Mike Tyson famously wrestled with his pet tiger. Fully grown tigers can be rather scary and expensive to house as pets. But baby tigers are much easier to care for and are also much cuter. Most tigers in the USA are actually kept as pets, not in the wild or in zoos. At first, baby tigers only drink milk. 
but when they get older, they will start to eat hundreds of dollars of meat per day. That's why many people give their baby tigers to zoos as they get older. But if you have the means and also the space, then they make great pets even as adults. Many rich people in Dubai and Saudi Arabia keep tigers as pets. If they are raised around humans as kids, then they are not threatening to humans when they're adults. But as babies, tigers are super cute. Red Panda Keeping a normal panda as a pet is pretty much impossible, but don't despair if you want a panda as a pet. That's because red pandas make for a great pet. Red pandas are much cuter and smaller than normal pandas. They're actually not very biologically similar to pandas. Some say they're more like bears or raccoons, and others say they are their very own species. Their fur looks amazing and beautiful, and they love roaming around in snowy environments. Slow Lorries Slow Lorries are similar to sloths, but are much cuter and make for better pets. They are famous for their gigantic eyes. They have these because they are nocturnal. This means that if you want to spend time with them, then you better be a night owl. That's because these animals are awake at night and sleep in the day. These primates are native to Asia. They are most popular as pets in Russia and Japan, but they are very expensive, costing around $18,000. But now it's time to make your voice heard. Comment down below which of these pets you would want the most. If you want some more amazing videos, then check out my second channel. But as always, thanks for watching. There are some more videos you might like on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.